Breaking news. All expose how Sunday Buho's lawyer, Belumi, has been lobbling, working with Buhari against Sunday Buho. My dear, the news broke out on us today that Sunday Buho lawyer, uh, Belumi, that we all know very well, um, said he was resigning as one of the lawyers to Chief Sunday Buho. Chief Sunday Buhu is undergoing all the oppression right now for committing no crime. His crime is having love genuinely for the people and hating oppression. We also saw the latest letter he wrote to Buhari saying that I am not at war with you. The only problem here is that you have been nepotic in your appointment and you have neglected areas in this country that even carries the back of the finances of the country it ought not to be so make a u-turn the worst of all the straw that broke the camel's back is even his support for the fulani headsmen you know a government that shows no true you know love for the people rather supporting those who are committing all forms of atrocity is outrageous Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Yoruba group Elena Omodua has lambasted the lawyer of Chief Sonde Adeyemo, aka Buhu, over his letter to President Muhammad Buhari. A statement on Sunday by Maxwell Adeleye said, Belumi does not speak for Sonde Buhu nor is involved in the Yoruba nation self-determination struggle. The spokesman said the work he was hired and paid for ended with his defense of Sunday Buhu's aides and relations arrested by the Department of State Security Service, DSS, on July the 1st, 2021, in Ibadan, or your state. Anything outside that Belumi is saying afterward should be considered as his personal opinion and not that of Chief Sunday Igbo. As our lawyer, he is supposed to speak to the public on our instructions, he noted. Adele put on record that the legal practitioner made it clear in an interview that he is not interested in Yoruba nation agitation because he believes in one Nigeria. He said Belumi affirmed that his only interest was to defend opposed people hum hum humiliated by the Nigerian government, which he has mercilessly executed. For us, we are surprised that Belumi wrote a New Year message to President Muhammad Buhari on behalf of Igboho lobbied the Nigerian government indefinitely why he attempts to paint the large picture of, sur of Igboho surrendering. We want to state very expressly that the so-called New Year message is a personal opinion of Belumi and not the position of Chief Sunday Igboho, the statement has stated, and he should desist from this. So this is why... Um, you know, if you remember Maswell Adele, Maswell is uh, 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 is the spokesperson to um, Chief or Professor B.C. Akintoye. Okay, but you know, uh, Professor B. Akintoye is the one who is doing the legal framework and has not been in Nigeria since Sunday Bo's arrest, especially when the news broke out that Nigerian government was after him. Okay, they want to arrest the 86 year old, you know, and treat him, you know, with disdain, even at old age, because they've got no shame, you see. You know, they do the wrong thing with confidence and they expect people to smile at them and to celebrate them. I don't understand what they think they will get from there. Anyway, this is what is going on and this is what is happening right now. And the truth of the matter is, we must come out of it and we must come out of this. You know, not knowing that the the, the uh, New Year message we all thought Sunday Boho authorized through his lawyer 
was the lawyer's personal opinion and like we are reliably being informed he's been lobbying he's been lobbying president muhammad buhari so they've been working behind closed doors you know against Bo uh, igboho you see so if you want to call this sabotage i think that's the right word and so chief uh or professor akinto is saying he's not speaking our uh, you know he's not speaking for us he was employed he was or hired and has been paid to help you know get people who were wrongfully held by nigerian government and that's the premix of his job description nothing more nothing else every other thing he's doing is his personal opinion you know people want to quickly use this opportunity to quickly enrich themselves and to get i should just quickly score some cards you know, but we are hearing right now that this is not Sunday Boho's position and that this man has been secretly working behind the scene, okay, to get favor for himself on account of Sunday Boho. We all know that Sunday Boho came out to defend the people after more than enough cry has been raised up to say oppression was going on, Fulanis were infiltrating. And it's not, I mean, we don't have a problem with them coming and, you know, living among the people. In fact, we are hospitable, we receive them. And this was what the people were saying, but not until they started killing the people. And the people cried out and said, no, we are no longer happy. If you, are, if you are going to throw our hospitality at our face, you can as well leave. And they said, we are not leaving. The government was aware and they said nothing. In fact, they were supporting them by their actions, by their gestures, because when there was the farmers and herder clashes and say farmers came together and chased Fulani away and in the process one Fulani was injured, the farmer will be the one that will be arrested, persecuted and up to date, no Fulani has been, you know, brought to book for all the atrocities and crime. So at the end of the day, you understand that we are really in a situation where people you don't expect or you think mean well for the country have other intentions. So this is a lawyer that was employed and his sole purpose and sole uh, job description was to get Sunday Boho's uh, aides who were unlawfully arrested, which he has done, but right now working with Buhari secretly. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.